Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows 11 Acrylic Edition, which at this point is about a year and a half old. It was released at the very end of 2022 and is based on Windows 11 22H2. I want to take a look at this OS just because I want to take a look at like what I believe is going to be a quote crappy bootleg of Windows 11. I'm very curious to see what this is like, how this is you know formed. And the one thing that really caught my eye is the ISO is 7.6 gigabytes, which is significantly larger than a regular Windows 11 ISO. In fact, I believe it's about two gigs larger. So I'm very excited, well, maybe not excited, but very intrigued to take a look at this OS and see what it's like. So I'm gonna up the RAM to eight gigs because by default VMware only gave me two. And we wanna give this OS the best chance. And naturally, it's not going to start. That is very cool. Um, the drive is connected and it is set to use the ISO so I'm not you know that's a very good start here well it's possible that the drive or the CD-ROM is corrupted or it could need a legacy BIOS let me go try that all right and we have booted into the ISO I mean this is the ISO this is not the installed version for some, re for some reason, it wanted a legacy BIOS instead of a traditional um, you know, EFI BIOS. So again, this is exactly what it booted into. So there is a readme file. Um, thank you for interest in my mod. Double click install now on the desktop. All right, so let's go ahead and click next and install. This, I'm hoping this is just the pre-boot environment because this is not Windows 11 at all. This is, I believe, Windows 10. Even the copyright date here said 2019, which is before Windows 11. But this says June 2021, so that might be a little better. And this background is really bad. Uh, the taskbar is still an overlay here. I'm just hoping this is just a pre-boot environment and nothing else. So let's let this install and we'll be back. All right, and here we are inside of Windows 11 Acrylic Edition. Now, it has actually taken me so long to get VMware tools to even get to this state, um, just how slow this operating system is. Um, and I'm sure you can assume why it's so slow. I mean, just looking at all of the modifications, this kind of reminds me of an OS we've taken a look at before. I can't actually remember what that OS is called, but just all of the crap on the desktop, it really reminds me of it. Let's take a look at the task manager here, which is the old task manager for some reason. I don't like this but we're using 100% of the CPU, which is a 10th gen Core i7, and 2.28 gigs of RAM. Not that great, um, but let's go ahead and let's get VMware tools installed so that we can truly have a great look at this really bootleg operating system. And VMware tools should not be taking this long to install. All right, and here we are. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the desktop I do like this background. I'm not sure if they made it or not. I would like to assume they did, but it looks like just kind of like a something of the Windows 11. Um, we have our cycle bin with a custom icon that takes forever to open up. We have AIMP. I have actually never heard of that in my life before. I have no clue what it is. Oh, it looks to be like a music player. Okay. Firefox is pre-installed. Free download manager. I know that looks like a virus and it's probably not great for your computer, but I do know what it is. I have used it before. Um, it's, I don't like including it with Windows. MOBA X term, I have used this before. Not sure why anyone who downloads this OS would need MOBA X term. Then we have Notepad. I have never used Notepad personally. I always use Visual Studio Code, um, but hey, to each their own. Then we have Qubit Torrent. Um, not something that would really want to be uh, saved on my computer. TeamOS Facebook, which is a folder. So is this called TeamOS or what is, is this Windows 11 Acrylic Edition? And apparently it's not a folder. Apparently it just goes straight to their Facebook page. And of course there's the infamous Microsoft Edge coming up with its 700 requests. And their page looks to be down. TeamOS Forms, which I would assume is also down, because remember, this is a two-year-old uh, OS at this point. Um, they probably don't exist anymore. Or, hey, they do exist. TeamOS still is a thing, but it instantly takes us to download an extension. Then we have a TeamOS folder, which includes 
check out our stuff, logos, things of that stuff. Okay. Then we have Visual Studio Express 2012 for desktop. I'm not sure why anyone is using 2012 Visual, Visual Studio today or why it would even be bundled in an operating system. And then of course we have Microsoft Edge, the one you can't get rid of. Taking a look at the taskbar, we can see it looks, it's like transparent. And unlike Windows 11, it can actually be moved all over the display. Uh, but we're gonna lock that. Um, this is like the Windows 10 taskbar, but it is actually Windows 11. We're gonna go ahead and close that because we don't want it. Um, you know, it's like transparent in a way. Like, I can't see the back, which I don't necessarily like. Um, we have our notifications, which does show we're actually running Windows 11. Then we have our clock, which is like Windows 10. Our volume and our network are separate, like they were in Windows 10. And let's see, the system tray, you know, all your typical stuff. Mica for everyone appears to be the main software here. On the right, or on the left side of the taskbar, we have the Windows Store, Edge, the File Explorer, uh, Chat, Widgets, um, the Task View, the Search Bar, as well as um, our Start Menu here. And our Start Menu isn't like Windows 11 or Windows 10. It appears to be, I mean, it is a custom version. Um, by default, I don't like this. I prefer the Windows 11 Start Menu, to be honest, but I would even prefer the Windows 10 over this one. This is like a crappy Windows 7 ripoff, um, but hey, to each their own. And here we have 7-Zip, you know, your typical stuff that we already saw. Visual Studio 2012, I don't, again, I don't understand it. UX Theme Patcher, Windows Kits, you know, all that kind of fun stuff here. Let's take a look at WinVer just to see what this shows. Uh, Windows 11 22H2. Uh, 22.621.963. So this is a really old version of Windows 11. Again, all of our you know our right-click menus are all like Windows 11 or Windows 10 rather. Right-clicking on things, there's no like delete button at the top. It's all back to the legacy version, which I actually like the current version of the right-click. But hey, to each their own. Right-clicking on the de on the desktop, we actually got a whole bunch of options like kill not responding tasks add or edit stickers, you know, system tools. There's a whole bunch of stuff I just really don't think should be on the desktop. And then we can of course personalize where we can select a different background, but it looks like there are no others by default. Let's go into Windows Update and it is actually getting Windows updates. It's getting the March 2024 cumulative update for 22H2. So they didn't pause updates. I am curious to see how these actually, you know, break this OS. And one thing I am noticing is that it looks like a, uh, someone from outside of the U.S. developed this as, you know, the program was spelled this way, personalization was spelled a different way. So, yeah, and colors was spelled with a U. So that being said, this is just a brief overview of Windows 11 Acrylic Edition. Again, we take a look at some of the most random operating systems on this channel, and this was just the one on the chopping block for today. Let me know what you think of this OS, and if you have any other suggestions for different Windows or any OSs that we should take a look at, or even any video ideas, anything you guys would like to see. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.